gonna go into space and rescue people. All right. Ooh, that was a bit overshot. Alexandra Bullock. And we got her. It was so easy. <laughs> We're not going to space today. George Clooney would be proud of me. So yeah, this is going to be our next goal, I think, for the next episode. We're going to try to rescue Coraline's derelict. Question from Team Mark Cass. Welcome to the KSP Kerbal Space Program Grand Tour Iron Man Episode 9. Things have happened, and now we are in front, we are about to embark on an epic challenge here. Corland's derelict has been discovered two days ago. For two days, this poor Kerbal has been has been orbiting this very, very weird. Uh, Trajectory. Uh, this very very weird uh, orbit, and we need to get this guy. This is our goal. This is the thing that I decided I have to do right now before attempting any other kind of stuff. Uh, not because it is easy, but because it is hard, and do the other things. All right. So so far we are using as our main uh, propulsion or stage. We are using where is this guy? Kerbal 2 Orbiter. This is this is the state of the art for, for Kerbal Rescuing right now. Looking at it, at the Delta V stats though. So interesting. We actually yeah, we have barely enough to get into orbit with the lower stages. And then we have like four thousand like no thousand seven hundred delta Vs left at the end. We have to up this thousand seven hundred Delta V's, we have to up this, we have to make it bigger, higher, so we can get out way into space and uh, get this poor Kerbal. Alright, so I'm gonna remove this thing and it's going to be uh, Kerbal 2 Orbiter DS. DS stands for Deep Space or like 3DS. Alright, I'm gonna save this, alright. So this, uh, so far we've been using like this atmospheric re-entry craft, but no longer, no, this won't longer, no longer cuts this. Uh, this won't, won't longer, won't do any longer, there we go. Um, so we're gonna use just a regular um, shield, just like a regular thing here. This ups our, our um, Delta V rating, we can up it even more by removing the monopropellant. But I still feel like this is not enough delta V. I still feel we need to put more oomph into this thing. So I'm thinking we're gonna put one of the smaller tanks just in case. All right, so this is going to be our orbital craft. That's what I decided. Now we need a booster that is capable of lifting this little orbital craft into orbit. So off the bat, we see that we are we kind of lost like 100 de delta Vs um, from the lower stage. So I'm thinking we're going to upgrade this 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 lower part here. We're going to put a bigger tank down here. And what does the part count say? Dip, 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 dip. All right, we have one more part that we can add to this to this to this baby. And I'm thinking it's going to be another tank. So let us check out what the thrust to weight, weight ratio says. Uh, where is the... Maybe I should put this guy here as well. What does it say? Oh, parachute issues. Yeah, that's never mind. Electric charge. I don't know why I just say I don't need electric charge. This is stupid. Uh, I'm going to move those tanks uh, a little bit further down here. This is going to be a very long elongated spacecraft. Uh, it fits me because I'm a very long kind of person. Very tall person. Uh, we need four of those guys here. But damn! Cool. So now we have a thrust to weight ratio of 2.4 which is great. I love it. 
uh, checking if maybe we have some little, now that's great. And we upped our Delta V rating way up. Did we? Well, yeah, we did. Uh, maybe sorta. I'm feeling good about this one. And I'm gonna try this now. Now we have to wake here uh, yeah, because Shadow is a, is a sneaky, sneaky guy, and he always sneaks like into the capsules once tries to get in. Shadow, bad Kerbal, bad Kerbal. We don't want you have you in, 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 uh, in our capsules. All right, we're gonna save this. And finally, there's one other aspect that we need to keep track of, which is exactly when we are going to launch this, because. Uh, because now everything counts. We need to, this is going to be tricky to get way far out there. So yeah, this is our, uh, no, 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 no. <gasps> why did, why could, why can I, I couldn't recover this. Off to a bad start. Off to a very, very bad start indeed, guys. This is this is not the way it was intended. A launch stabilizer would be great, but we haven't invented launch stabilizers yet. So we have to make do with whatever we have. We don't have to make try to make those. We made this a bit too large, too high, I think, too tall. A bit too tall. Uh, let us see if we can offset those boosters down so they can provide some more stability. That seems fine. And then we can see if we can provide, uh, use those guys to provide some extra stability. Uh, that seems also nice. All right, saving this. Try it again. I just lost like an entire rocket. This is crazy. Don't you fall over. It seems to be in a semi-stale state. Uh, now I can recover, never mind. All right, so let us see where we want to go. This is our goal, set as target. So we want to be launching at a, at a moment where the ascending node and the descending node of our... Basically now would be really great, right? Yes, now is actually a really good good moment because this is where. Is that a really good moment? No, it's not a really good moment. Yes, it is a good moment. It kind of sees okay. Let's do this. So let us see target. This is. Uh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know exactly at what angle I should launch. We're gonna eyeball this. What's the worst that can happen? Am I right? I'm right. Let's do this. Oh, do we have the Kerbal on board? No, we don't. All right, sweet. All right. All right. Doing it. I'm going to start with full throttle and see how well this, this rocket performs. All right. I'm going to throttle back a little bit because it seems to be performing OK. The acceleration is... is is okay. All right, so we're gonna eyeball everything about this. Switching into my uh, Kerbal Space Program keyboard profile. So we don't care about circularizing the orbit too much at this point. All right, solid rocket boosters are off, and we are off to, oh, we can actually maybe increase the, the throttle, full throttle, a really great game by um, by this one game designer that everybody knows, John uh, Schaefer, Schaefer, Tim Schaefer, not John Schaefer. All right, I'm trying to get, I think I'm gonna have to go like this. This is, I think, what I have to do. 
have to go like this because this is the kind of orbit that we need to want uh, we need to want yes yes christian you are you are talking the right words putting the emphasis on the on every syllable wait a minute i think no i think we have to go there right we have to go there yes that seems more like it which direction am i going yeah this is the right direction i don't know why it's flipped over here which is very confusing yeah yeah that's the right way that's the right way all right got this already in an orbit oops uh oh this is this is confusing already setting the orbits now i upgrade my display here so i can see the thrust to weight ratio and also can see the delta v's they involve very important delta v's all right all right all right i take the long way around and i have the same jokes always the same jokes all right um i'm trying to launch into like a like a like a inclined orbit so it will cost less energy to 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 catch up with this guy basically right now we're pumping all of our delta v's and we have some significant delta v's here we're pumping all of it into orbital speed i guess we should get a little bit higher so we get a, a significantly better Delta V, uh, I mean periapsis. All right, got this. No flying brace can All right, so this is it. We have the parachutes on the stage, so sweet, sweet, sweet things will happen. And let us see how we are faring. So we already have an ascending and descending node, and it seems to be like it's kind of in the right mo place. So let us continue uh, going into into orbit. I'm not really caring about uh, equiapsis or periapsis or so because this is going to be or you know hugely. Actually, probably I should care. Never mind. I actually do care about about those things a lot. But the apoapsis, I want to have the apoapsis here at the ascending and descending node. And that seems to be traveling to the ascending node. So I'm going to actually keep thrusting in, in this direction. Thrust. Oh, that seems good. And cut. So this is good. This is really good. I'm liking this. <clears throat> and we're already all, almost in space anyway. So that's great. Let us fast forward to the apoapsis. Actually, let us yes. Let us fast forward to apoapsis. Why we are? Why is this declining? It's not declining. All right. So now with the uh, patch conics on, we have the abilities of the uh, Kerbal alarm clock to fast forward to certain positions in the orbit, which is so useful. Oh my god. All right, got this. So now we can we can circularize our orbits. So what I'm going to do now is to circularize over indulge in circularizing, right? I'm gonna raise my my periapsis to become the apoapsis. So my apoapsis will be over the, right over there. Already we, we're getting an, uh, an intersect here. That's that's cute. I didn't mean for this, but uh, it's going to be really far away. Yeah. Okay. So let us warp to ascending node. No, we're not going to warp to ascending node. Are you, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Are you that stupid? You're so stupid. Oh my gosh. We are going to create a maneuver here we're going to plan exactly where and how we're going to burn burn baby burn disco inferno so i'm going to do something 
running this. This will give us like plenty of encounters with the, with this capsule. And uh, we're gonna see what happens afterwards. I mean, we can still, you know, get way up here. All right, got this. Uh, that's a 400 Delta Vs. That was that's a significant portion of our our fuels. But I think after after this, uh, it's gonna be free sailing. All right. Oh man, oh no. I have a bad feeling that is actually going the opposite direction. Are you kidding me? Why is this co Why? I haven't noticed. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, this is very bad. We have to th rethink our, our strategy here. Our target is traveling retrograde. Yes, it's getting closer. It's traveling retrograde. This changes everything. So we need to st we still want to be in the same plane, I guess. So this this doesn't change. But everything else changes. Ch -ch -ch changes. Oh man, we have to like turn around on a dime. Oh, this will take a lot of Delta V. I don't know if we have the Delta V for this. This was a huge mistake. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Delete. All right, so this is going to be our our burn. We have to be in the same plane either way. Like that, that's something we cannot avoid. Oh man! All right, that's sixty-six delta v's. That's okay. It's gonna be just a tiny burn. Uh, everything else I cannot actually account for. This is causing a lot of troubles in, in my brain. We have to do like a 180, man. This is going to be crazy. But if there's one person that can do it, it's probably not me. It's going to be Scott Manley. I'm gonna call him right away. Uh. All right, got this. This 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 is going to be crazy. I don't know if we can do this. It's four hundred times two is going to be so close. All right, got this. Uh, where is it? Where is this guy? I want to see him with my face. I cannot see him with my face. Target, whatever. That is uh, what we have to do in order. Oh man, it's going to be so close. So now we're cancelling our relative velocities to the target. So let me see what our current trajectory looks like. 
Ah, already we are in a, in a kind of similar orbit. We actually switch around the orbits now. We are now in, a, in doing the right direction thing. Oh man, this is still very buggy here, but uh, let us see if we can get a better encounter now. Oh, uh, I actually have to go a little bit further because I'm actually going to crash into the planet. All right, this looks way better now. But still getting those buggy, buggy, buggy things. So let let us let this guy catch up with us a little bit. Maybe we can already do this on this orbit. How much delta v's? 600. Man, it's going to be cutting so close. We're going to have maybe like 100 delta v's left after this this insanity is over. Good thing we packed so much of delta v's with us. All right, I think we're going to get close now. This is oh man oh we're 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 widening our gap all right got this so again we are we want to nullify our speed against the target so much concentration right now. Oh. Because we need to be precise now. We have no margins, literally no safety margins. I don't even know if we can do this now. All right. So where is the target? I can cannot still see the target. There is a the target. 18 kilometers. All right. What is our our? So we have a very similar orbit now. So this might be doable. 129 meters per second. I'm going to fly towards the target now. And I'm going to do it like a dummy. I'm going to just point towards it. I'm going to accelerate towards it. And I think we're gonna have to get like 20 meters per second or something. This is really far away, man. All right, what is our intersection? Um, separation, one kilometer away. Can we get this closer? Oh, it was got better. Point 0.9 we can better I don't want to do another approach this is going to have to be perfect point 0.7 point 0.6 point 0.5 this is getting all better all the time oops point 0.4 this is not getting better what oh, wait oh this is getting better I think a little bit here in this direction point 0.3 oh this is pretty good I'm taking taking those chances Hundred delta v's left. Just def just running on fumes at this point, man. Breaking will cost me twenty. I will have maybe eighty delta eighty delta v's left once once we're done. How much till closest encounter? Oh man, this is just so. All right, how far are we? All right, so, oh, we need to break already. No, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 there, just, there, 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 there. All right.
As predicted, 80 Delta V's left. 300 meters per sec. 300 meters spacewalk. That's doable. That's doable, Corlin. You can do this. Let go. Uh, and let's go. Nobody's in check is talking. Everybody's just silently watching this this amazing rescue operation. A spacewalk of 300 meters. In deep space. We reversed our orbit. We reversed the actual direction of our orbit. Which is very un unadvisable, very inefficient. Uh, uh, stop. All right. Very unadvisable. Not something you should do at home, kids. Well, actually do it. It's super fun. But so stressful. N but not NASA standard procedure, for sure. Oh. Grab! God damn it, grab! If you make it home with this flight, Corlin, you will be a hero. All right, boarding. All right, we have Corlin on, on board. The question is if we have enough fuel to actually get him into the atmosphere. The best solution I think that we can come up with, can we answer the start of it? Thank you. Uh, the best uh, choice we have is here at the apoapsis. We can add a maneuver. Let's see how much AD Delta V's will bring us. This is how far we can get. We officially ran out of fuel. We're gonna have to send a rescue mission for the rescue mission. This is bumming me out. Bum bumped out situation. Uh, but yeah, let us get uh, down the Delta V requirements as best as we can by actually performing the burn. Rescuing this Kerbal uh, has costed me has cost me so uh, tremendous amount of resources so far. I hope this guy is is, uh, is was worth it. All right, let's do this. Like so. And now we are uh, orbit retrograde. I'm gonna empty the tank. And that's us. That's how far we got. Another rocket. We're gonna need another rocket. Nope, you're not going with us. Is it DS? Mission flag is going to be teamwork. Ah, yeah. Launch. Zigar, you are not dead. But you are not on this mission either. This mission is strictly a... Uh, rescue mission. We are rescuing the rescue mission. Very typical, in very typical Kerbal fashion. Uh, all right, this direction. We're going retrograde this time around. As it should. We still have Shadow Kerman on board. What the hell? Seriously, I'm losing so much money out of because of this. Shadow. That was a short excursion. Oh, science. Well, don't mind if I do. No curbs on board. All right. No stowaways. 
Uh, actually, yeah, throw. All right, again, counteracting this uh, this sideways movement. Going in the opposite direction here. That's not what I wanted. I don't, didn't want to to do this kind of thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna leave it for now. I think this is enough. Sideways tilt. All right. Science. Well, not doing science now. That's for sure. Or maybe I do. Oh, whatever. Oop. Uh, well, we are kind of like we could afford some more drastic atmospheric control. All right, got this. Yes, yes, yes. I like this. I like what I'm seeing. Wait a minute. I'm not pointing down. Oh God. Reverse directions. Oh, this is so confusing. My brain is just not understanding this. This. Uh, this ball. Good thing I caught this. Wait a minute. Going. Uh, wait a minute. I'm. I'm still so confused about this. Am I going the right direction? Yes, this is the right direction. Yes, I'm going down now. I'm. I'm. S I'm not trusting this. All right, whatever. Uh, orbital velocity. We need more of this. More of this orbital velocity that everybody's talking about. Where's the guy? I don't see the guy. Let, give me some... some. Alright, there's the guy. I, we don't see him yet, but it, he will be there. We're gonna burn against this guy. Still coming up, right? Yeah, it's coming up. I'm coming up, so you better... Do, 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 do. Is the guy visible yet? No? 
Oh, wait a minute, there's Target. Where's Target? Oh, there he is. All right, 24, 23. What's going to be the separation? Like four. Right? Is, is four going to be the separation? Yes. So we're going to wait until it's like very little and then I'm going to go full blast on this guy. This is the speeding train that we need to catch. Not doing too bad so far. All right, got the velocity perfect. Just one meter per second difference. Man, I'm such a bouse. All right, and now 6.6 .6 kilometers away though. A, a bit more than I expected. Let's see if we can get this down. 20 kilometers uh, meters per second approach Oops I probably overdid this, but whatever, let's just do like a half kilometer spacewalk. Why not? This mission was dangerous as it is. Where are we? There are we. Yeah, we can do this, no problem. Bye bye! Let go. We're gonna. We're gonna. We have to t test. Uh, practice those spacewalks. Oops, wrong button. Man, this is... Look at this. This guy's like, I don't even know what's happening. So let me see if we can get at least like this guy in front of us and then we can just move in front of us. Faster. Man, this was the... Somebody said, like, I got this game, I can't seem to land back on the surface of Kerbin without blowing myself up. I'm beginning to think I wasted 23 bucks. I think you invested the best 23 bucks that you ever spent on a game. This is the best game in the world. Well, it's not the best game in the world, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. There's a lot of learning that you have to do. A lot of learning, but once you master the game, it is the best. You learn so much, so many things. All right, Mark Watney reporting for duty. Okay. Just no. And blowing up is natural in this game. This is the natural thing of, of doing things in space. Or even NASA blows up things up every now and then. Man, this is going to be like the most complicated rescue mission. But it will be so worth it. Oh, come on. Let us get in here. Grab it! And board it. <sighs> Alright. Getting back home, I would say, is uh, the only thing that we, that we have left to do. Unset target. Orbit is correct. Uh, retrograde burn with a 10 kilometer periapsis, I would say. Like or like or like we used to in the old days. And this is actually the first time I'm gonna test this heat shield system that I have here. But I'm sure everything will be peachy. 
How much Delta Vs do we have? Ooh, actually not a lot. I'm actually beginning to be a bit worried. We are losing Delta v, v. Oh man, if there's going to be a, th like a third rescue mission, this is going to be awkward. Ah, it's not this. It's not going to be one. All right, 10 kilometers achieved. Let's get back home, guys. Let us get back home. This game being beautiful again. Hmm, Majestics. Let's turn this around into like a useful. Oh! Usually, I would just quick load, but this is Iron Man. We have to live with the consequences of having wasted a lot of money to rescue this guy just to die because of time acceleration. Wow! I pressed the wrong button. I used I th that's the button to I press it. Uh, I time accelerated and the physics ha have not brought me back into real time fast enough. So I crashed in the atmosphere and died. Mark Watney has died. Second Kerbal. Second Kerbal. Wow. So this is, I think, a good moment to end this episode. This epic rescue attempt failed horribly and we have to move on and we have to figure other things that we have to do in this game to be profitable. Let's see about that. We will, I hope you will join us next time. I have to, I, I need a moment here. Always use a parachute. We had a parachute, it didn't help. Don't time, time accelerate, that's the lesson. Don't time accelerate too much. Au revoir.